I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about it. Whoa! Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with gas. Never need to see them. Oh, crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Is, uh, is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. We were just lucky to make it out alive. That's more than most people could say. Their bones are probably still sizzling away in that lava down there. Wow. Morbid. Sorry. Throw up like inside your body? Uh huh. I know because I just did about five times. Wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh, is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's this dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temple. I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. Take it easy, Axel. He called me stupid. No, I didn't. But you wanted to. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... Yep, that's totally... <sighs> it's getting dark and stuff. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. 
What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not... That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye-level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done, like, a multi-level thing, but... That's too late now. I mean, it's... It's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no. I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Can't just mope. Gotta keep our spirits high. No, we should be moping. That's exactly what we should be doing. Axel. I'm right, right? Maybe, but she's going to be fine. What makes you think that? She has to be. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split oh, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. We'll figure it out in the morning. Maybe you're right. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. Jesse means us, not you. Axel, we'll figure it out in the morning. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. This is so dumb. You're just gonna let him leave? I'll be fine. Add up all the times he was a jerk to us, and this doesn't compare. You're being ridiculous. And if anything happens to him, I'm blaming you. I didn't know it would rain. You feeling good about yourself? He'll be fine. Hey. 
Hey, guys, I, um, I picked some apples. You are more than welcome to some if you want. Feel free. There's plenty for all of us. Thanks, Lucas. You got up early and did all this? I figure we have to eat. I like to get an early start. I thought you left. Yeah, me too. I got a tower up as fast as I could. I tried to do some thinking, but it was too cold. And then it started raining. No, it's all right. It's just... It's been a long night. I'm resourceful, you know? People always say that. And I am a good friend. Most of the time, I'm a good friend. Now, yesterday I wasn't at my best for one second, and it's like, none of that matters. Except for one thing. Petra still needs us. I let her down once. It won't happen again. We're in this together now. I'm with you guys. To the end. We're all on the same team. We have to help each other. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thank you, Jesse. <clears throat> All right, then, let's head out. Look at that thing. What is it? Let's get a closer look. Waiting for, let's go. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <laughs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Do this. All right. The D 
Dead Ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five, five, five heroes. They would author their own end. They would... The story's never mentioned him. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. What you looking at? Nothing, whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and, well, more historical. It's the same as the amulet. Absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. 
this is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be... gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh... Maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. But obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... I think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I... Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here. Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Guys? Please hurry. Jesse and... All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end that here. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, smash the like button, and I'll see you in, in the next one. Peace, guys.